Hello everybody, welcome back to Crunch. Today we're talking about X Define. I spent 14 hours on this game in one day. Let's talk about it. This game is a free to play game. That's right. Free to play game. When it comes to free to play games, you should be going into the game with the free to play aspect in mind. All right. I'm treating the game basically like a grindy mobile game. I'm expecting all the worst of the worst in this game. It's actually not that bad, actually. Okay. You go into the game. Some of the challenges are pretty good. All right. They're not that hard at all. Um, are they a little bit grindy? Yes, they can be. But for the most part, they're not that bad. Okay. Not what I was expecting from an actual free to play game. Something like something kind of like Destiny, maybe around there. Right. Where it's like you have to, you have to treat it as a second job. I mean, World of Warcraft, you got to pay a 15 month subscription. That's basically a second job. Literally. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> holy crap. Anyway. So it's not, it's not that bad currently, all right? On Twitter, I saw something about it taking 100 hours to get um, all the attachments for a weapon or something like that. Whoever said that, wrong. 100% wrong. That person is probably just bad at the game. Probably averaging about 10 to 15 kills. Just get better, bro. Like, what can I say? You just got to get better. In my 14 hours of gameplay, it took me 8 hours to level up the AK from 0 to 50 to unlock the bronze skin. It took me 8 hours, okay, of my 14 hours. The first 6 hours was debating on if I wanted to use a controller or mouse and keyboard. I had to switch to controller. Okay, I haven't used controller in I don't know how long for FPS games. So it took a while to get everything adjusted. Then, after that, I got into the game. I started learning the game, learning how to whatever i learned i learned the game basically okay so that was the first six hours right there in a nutshell once i got my feet and understood what to do got the sensitivity and everything going then i started grinding then i started to actually progress towards something so let's go into the pros and the cons of the game the pros no the cons we'll start with the cons i like we're gonna start with the cons uh, the hit reg currently in this game is bad. You are going to be get hit. You're going to be get hit with ghost bullets. Um, I'm behind a full on wall. I stop shooting because I'm behind a wall. And the enemy, his character isn't shooting, but I'm still getting hit and I'm still dying behind that wall. Sometimes his character is shooting, but I'm still full on behind a wall. And I've done it to other, to some people too, where like they're literally behind a wall and I kill them. Like I don't know how I killed that guy, but I'll take it. <laughs> Right, so the hit reg atrocious. Now they're going to be releasing a patch today at six in the morning. Okay, six in the morning they're going to be releasing a patch, and uh, it's going to hopefully address those hit marker issues. They're talking about how uh, when you shoot somebody, the bar wouldn't go down that you that you hit them. So I'm not sure if they're talking about the hit reg or if they're talking about a different problem that I didn't encounter personally. My biggest problem currently in this game is the hit reg. Okay. The hit reg is ridiculous. Second problem. The game for me is a little bit a little bit too grindy. It's not grindy currently, okay? Yes, you have to do stuff in the game to unlock stuff. I prefer it that way. I would prefer not to buy stuff on the store. I would prefer to grind it out as a challenge in the game, all right? Uh, everything in this game you can get easily, no problem. Like it's it's nothing. I was expecting ridiculous things. I'm talking like like Call of Duty is worse when it comes to grinding for stuff than this game. This game is currently, right now, nothing. The only grindy thing that you have to actually do is you got to get 700,000 XP to unlock the new specialist. Or you can just buy it, right? You can just buy it or you can unlock it with 700,000 XP. In my 14 hours of gameplay, I currently have 658,000 XP towards that. So I'm pretty close. Uh, but as more stuff gets released i'm going to expect the game to get more grindy and uh the only way for new players to approach this game at that point would simply be to just buy the specialist all right just buy the specialist don't waste your time i expect the specialist to be op as fuck when they release them the new ones um which leads me into my next con is i see the problems that are already coming with the specialist idea i don't like specialists especially the, the whole uh characters having abilities to me is just annoying as hell i'd rather just like have i'd rather have kill streaks i ain't gonna lie i'd rather have kill streaks 
I'd rather have gadgets, like gadgets is whatever, but them having this ability to do stuff is annoying, all right? So um, I'm gonna give an example. In Ghost, you would throw, in Call of Duty Ghost, you would throw down a SATCOM. A SATCOM, you could just shoot it and destroy it. You wouldn't have a UAV. We, um, you would have to throw down two to actually get the scanning UAV. But with one of them, you could just see somebody and it would mark it on the map that this person is standing here because I see them. It's like a fog of war basically with the map. You have to actually see the enemy for it to be put on the map. Um, if they want to put gadgets like that into the game, then whatever. But currently with these abilities, they're, they're, I, don't, I don't like them. They're just not for me. When they release specialists and the newest one is OP, uh, I would expect people to be using that. Now, if nobody uses that, uh, the newest spec ops, it's because 99% of them are using the person that has the intel and uh, is able to use these goggles that highlights literally everybody and one shots them with a pistol like one shot sometimes it takes two shots okay it's an ultimate ability of hers she has the ability to do it everybody in this game is basically playing it right they're playing this character her ability is basically a a uav through walls you can see the character through walls in a range okay has this one her regular ability is just in a range and it just pings, right? It lets up this little ping, right? Pings it, it highlights them in red. You see them, you find them, you shoot them. It's, it's simple, right? Most of the people playing this game are using that character currently. Her ultimate ability, when you activate it, shows literally everybody. You equip a pistol and you just go and shoot them with your pistol. I don't know if it highlights everybody for the team, but usually when they have this ability, the ultimate ability on, they also have this ping on, okay? So they have the ultimate and the ping on. So now they got double, like double the vision. And they have a pistol that one, two shots people, okay? That's, that's like, why? <laughs> but, but whatever, right? I expect it to be in, the, in a free-to-play game, okay? So people are going to be probably using that character until a more OP character comes, and then they'll switch to that character instead. Currently, the one they have to grind for, at least this little spider bot. Um, the spider bot is, I'm, I'm going to say a one-time use. I've only ever gotten hit by it one time. I don't know if it's an ultimate or just an ability, but it's a little spider bot that comes and it, uh, it can either sit on your face, which is annoying, or it'll just stun you and keep you in place for a short amount of time. The only thing you can do in that situation is hip fire, okay? The spider bot is annoying as hell. Uh, I'd rather get flash banged 50 times than to deal with one spider bot. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like, <laughs> being able to not do anything is annoying. At least with a flash bang, I can see and move and try to, like, avoid at all costs. All right? Because I have, like, a prevision of where I was gonna go anyway. I expect OP specialists in the future. I expect those specialists to be grindy to unlock. I mean, 14 hours in and I haven't unlocked my character, and my character only costs 700,000 XP. So 14 hours in and it's still locked uh it's gonna be a grind to unlock that uh, i could just i could easily just buy it like and uh, as more stuff gets released and as people come into this game who are new to the game uh, it's gonna be way too grindy for them and they're probably just gonna outright buy stuff and that's what i expect from a free play game i ain't gonna lie the fourth con is the movement in the game okay you thought call of duty was bad holy crap uh we have in this game the ability to slide and then bunny hop right now people don't know about this new thing i do because i played for 14 hours and i understand okay what you have to actually do and once this comes into the meta is you have to slide and then bunny hop and as you're bunny hopping let me grab my controller as you're bunny hopping you have to actually wiggle your character side to side a bit okay I'm not sure exactly how to explain this, but when you wiggle your character, it is harder to track the character in the air and sometimes not really on the ground, but when they're in the air, they do this weird little movement thing and it's, it's, it's like, why? <laughs> but anyway, so that is something new that people are just going to have to expect to come into the meta at some point, the, the slide hop, hop, and then wiggle kind of thing slide hop especially the slide hop the slide hop in this game gives you massive distance so that into a wiggle midair 
it's going to be crazy to it's going to annoy everybody okay because the aim assist does not help you in that situation you just got to full-on wing it and good luck it's going to mess up with the aim assist you got to just figure it out man right you just got to predict how it's going to happen just figure it out that's all i can say four of my cons on this game so far okay the grindy one isn't really a con because the only thing that's going to be grindy is for the op is for the specialist not the op specialist but for the specialists, as they add them to the game, that's going to be a future grind that I can already see. Currently, everything in this game is is okay. It's not. If I could level up the guns faster, I would prefer that, of course, without boosts. I prefer it. But to me, it's not that grindy. So, I mean, I play grindy games. I play World of Warcraft. I play Rust. I played Call of Duty. Back then, you had to grind for like... um x amount of kills it was a lot of kills x amount of kills with an ac-130 to unlock an emblem like i i am already i am already set in the mind of grinding for stuff so to me it's not a problem to the average dad it might be a problem but i mean you're playing the wrong game if you think that they're gonna adjust that specifically for you right you're playing the wrong game it's a free-to-play game you should not be playing the free-to-play games if you can't put in the hours to grind for something. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, go play something else, not free-to-play games. Especially if you're a, if you're a dad, and I don't mean this in like a negative way. I'm I'm telling you that free-to-play games are not for you. You're just not gonna keep up with it. Pros. The game is fun. The game for what it is, even though the hit reg is a pain in the butt, the game is 100% fun. Uh, another pro is the game is simple. And the last pro is that they have interesting maps, okay? The maps are based off of their their game. So, like, uh, The Division, there's Watch Dogs 2, and Far Cry. It's Far Cry. So, they got stuff like that. They got, like, those kind of maps. So, they took the the idea of their game, and they turned it into, like, a small map. That's basically what it is. And I like that, okay? Uh, are there going to be problems with the maps? Yes. There's this one map where I think someone was already complaining about it in one of my games where the one side has just a massive open area and the other side has a lot of coverage so if the enemy is able to get to your side because i play domination if the enemy is able to get to your side where you have all the coverage they can pretty much hold you down in that area first until unless they flip it by accident but they can pretty much hold you down because there's a lot of angles that they could peek you and you're not even ready for it off the spawn okay there's two game modes i don't play because you can literally get spawn trapped and i just don't want to deal with it like if you have a bad team uh i would just, just leave the game that's all i'm gonna say like if you have a bad team getting spawn camp just leave the game there's no point okay you're just wasting your time i don't play those game modes there's two of them i don't play those game modes that's pretty much it like that's pretty much it the, the, it's fun it's really fun is it going to be a COD killer? I played the beta for this game. I knew when the beta was not going to be no COD killer. This isn't, this is, it's, it's just fun. Okay. It's fun and refreshing to have a game that's just simple and easy to do, easy to play. Right. That's what I think about the game. Ah, uh, should you play the game? I mean, it's free to play. You can try it yourself. I don't really have anything to say about it. Like I said, it's fun, simple, and the maps are cool. That's all I got. You're going to have uh, people in the party sweating it out. You should expect everything from Call of Duty. It's just every, every, um, you should expect all the sweats from Call of Duty to be playing the game, and you should expect those sweats to be playing the exact same way in this game. Okay, you should expect people to do exactly what I just said with the whole slide and bunny hop. The second they get shot in this game, they're going to slide, they're immediately going to slide to avoid you, and they're gonna start hopping. They're gonna hop around and behind you. Okay, so if your sensitivity isn't high enough to turn around or to at least track them while they're sliding you're gonna get fucked okay you're you're fucked okay uh should you play the game with a mouse and keyboard you can yes oh that's another thing the, another pro thing is that if you're not in a party and you're playing on control oh, bad and you're playing on controller the game will only put you in lobbies with controllers okay if you're playing on mouse and keyboard the game will only put you in lobbies with mouse and keyboard players that's it there is no there is cross play but you have to invite a friend. So if you're on mouse and keyboard and you invite a friend who's on console, then you're going to get mixed lobbies. You're going to get a mix of, of controller and mouse and keyboards. But if you're only using controller or you're only using mouse and keyboard and you're playing by yourself, it'll only put you in those lobbies. Mouse and keyboard lobby, controller lobby. That's it. Okay. 
which one is easier? Um, they're both easy. Okay, you'll you'll find easy lobbies with controllers. You'll find easy lobbies with mouse and keyboards. I find that uh, in the morning, not the morning. I would say um, today's Friday, so I would say but from Monday to Friday, it would be easier to probably find easier games around like 4 p.m. And then I'd probably stop at like maybe nine, between nine and eleven p.m. is when I stop because it's gonna be there's just gonna be more sweats playing at that time. So you might want to switch to mouse and keyboard past like one or two o'clock in the morning. I would say uh, between eleven and two, between eleven p.m. and two a.m. I would say. That's going to be, no matter what one you use, it's going to be hit or miss. So there's probably some people that are just still on the game just trying to do something real quick. And they're going to try and, like, sweat it out to just unlock it as fast as they can. Whatever it is they're doing. Or they're just trying to get, like, a couple of free games, whatever it is. But between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m., it's, it, no matter what one you play, it's going to be hit or miss, okay? That's what I found so far. This game is heavily dependent on controller. I find it way easier to play this game on the controller once you have adjusted your um aim assist pretty much you adjust the aim assist you adjust your sense controller is literally nothing um you can snipe so easily on the controller because of how much aim assist does for you it's not like call of duty levels though in call of duty the aim assist literally plays for you in this game um it's just there to is there to help you but it's it's a, it's a strong help though okay it's not as bad as call of duty but in this game it, it still exists okay i would say it's about maybe two levels under uh call of duty because in call of duty the the aim assist literally moves your character for a little bit okay if you were to stand there and let someone walk past you the aim assist would literally follow it for a little bit okay in this game I haven't actually tested that in this game, but I haven't noticed it. I've noticed that the when I'm aiming at someone, the aim assist slows down as it's like it's supposed to, and then once you stop aiming in certain areas, it'll like speed up real quick, which fucks with my aim on the controller. It'll like speed up real quick for all, just all of a sudden. It's like why, but uh, it doesn't do it anywhere near the levels of Call of Duty. That's for damn sure. Should you get into the game, it's free to play. If you want to try it now, I would highly recommend that you at least try it out now for yourself while it's not that crazy. But in the future, I you should expect it to get real crazy. It is a free-to-play game. It's owned by Ubisoft. Ubisoft has been doing some crazy stuff lately. Uh, let me show you some stuff real quick that they've been doing. 70 bucks for the base game, 109 bucks for all this, and then 129 for literally everything else. Or you could just pay 17 18 bucks a month and you can get everything in the ultimate edition with a subscription, right? Okay. So if they're willing to do this kind of shady shit with, um, pre-orders of games, you should expect some other shady stuff to happen in the free to play game. Okay. Currently it's not that bad. Currently it's fun to play. Yes, you should at least try it, but the game is like an arcade shooter. Uh, you're going to get bored of it after a while. And I think the specialists are going to ruin the experience for you 100%. Especially when everybody's using the same specialist, which is to just ping you as a red outline in the game. There's, there's a mini map that you can chase the dots if you want to. Good luck, though. But you just use the specialist. It just pings you through a wall. There is your silhouette. Go kill him. There is a shield in this game. However, I don't think you can crouch with the shield. Because I've never seen someone crouch while using the shield. So I just shoot them in the foot like it's nothing. People want to say that the shield is the most OP thing in this game. But those guys are lying. It's not the most OP thing in the game. If you can crouch with it, I can see the problem with it for sure. But if you can't crouch, and I haven't seen anyone crouch with it, just shoot them in the foot. What are you doing? Just shoot them in the foot. They're dead. Get them out of there. I guarantee you they'll switch off of that specialist real quick this has been crunch the podcast if you enjoyed this please leave a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one
Take care and bye bye. I got nightmares in my head. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper. I've been feeling weird. I can't seem to focus good enough. Nothing's really clear. Sometimes it could be a little.